Are you Muslim already? Or? Actually, I've been studying for over 20 years. Wow. Yeah. Excellent. I'm, I'm not a Muslim. Well, today's your day. <laughs> Actually, I, I came to ask you three questions. All right, if I answer your three questions, you're becoming Muslim. How's that? It's very close. All right. Um, well, you know, based on based on the people of the book, mm -hmm. you know, we are on Adam and Eve. Okay. Humanity is about six thousand years old. We don't believe that Islamically. Yet. Uh huh. But you know, the Earth is proven to be more than six. Agreed. Years old. Agreed. Dating the earth is not proven from any uh, ayah of Quran or Sahih Hadith. Uh, the, the Bible, for example, has been changed and revised and edited and books added and taken out that we cannot take it as a reliable historic document, right? So we as Muslims do not give the earth an age, right? We know it's been a lot more than 6,000 years, right? Because even if you go back to the time of Fir'aun and Musa alayhi salam, we're going to be around 5,000 you know, BC. Musa alayhi salam was there because Yusuf alayhi salam's time, people had moved to uh, Misr. So that means Yusuf alayhi salam is before that. Then before Yusuf is going to be his father Yaqub, then Ishaq, then Ibrahim. So now Ibrahim alayhi salam is way before to the Egyptian uh, pharaohs and pyramids. So now we're definitely going to go past, way, way past five, ten thousand years, right? Then then you got to go be, be, before Ibrahim alayhi salam, right? You go all the way back to Idris alayhi salam and Nuh alayhi salam and then you go to Adam alayhi salam. Who knows? That could be millions of years or hundreds of thousands of years. We don't know and there's no benefit in knowing. If there was benefit, Allah would have told us, right? But the young earth theory, which is a Christian concept, is wrong. We got one out of the way. Okay. Two more. Two more. Everyone knows that the year is 365 and a quarter days. Uh, well, in the solar calendar. The solar, yeah. the solar yeah. year. Um, why do the Muslims use the lunar, which is Excellent. 10 days less? Excellent. We use the lunar calendar because Islam is a very practical religion for all times and all places, right? If you don't know, if you don't have a calendar, if you don't have an app, if you don't have a written calendar, and you want to know what day is it? Is it a day of, uh, of uh, the middle of the month or beginning of the month? Islamically, we have worship that's tied to it. Like for example, uh, Ramadan or Eid, or I mean, this has to do with the, with the calendar, right? So how would we know? Well, the lunar calendar, you can just look up at the moon and know. And that's amazing. So, solar calendar is not like that. You can't look at the sun. You shouldn't look at the sun anyway. But even if you look at the sun, you can't tell whether it's the 14th or the 15th. And no one has right? a telescope. Uh, yeah, I mean, even if you have a telescope, can you tell the date just by the sun, right? Well, you have to have that tracking system. My mother-in-law, she lives in a village, may Allah uh, protect her. She doesn't have a calendar, right? She's in a village, right? And I was there and, you know, talking about Islamic dates. I was just talking, hey, you know, what date do you think it is? And she would look at the moon at night and she would tell you it's the 14th of the month, of this month. I would look at my app and she would be right, right? I tested it. Years later, I went to visit her and I said, hey, you know, what, what do you think? What, what, what date is it? She looked at the, cal the moon at night. She said, it's, it's the end of the month. It's the 29th. Probably one more day. There might be. We'll check tomorrow. She was right. So without an, an education, without any of that, you know, she's, she's from a farming family, all that, right? Just from looking at the moon, she knew the dates. And that's amazing. That's why we use the lunar calendar. Now, for prayer time, we use the sun sunlight. Why? Because you can look at the shadow and know what time. Right now, if I didn't have an app and didn't know, I could take a stick, put it on the ground and tell you what time, which prayer time is. Right? That's why Islam is so practical that for the prayer times, we use the, we use the, the sun's light because you can tell the shadows. And for the dates, we use the moon because anywhere in the world at any time, you can look at the moon and see which day of the month is it. Not everyone can use the solar calendar. Two down. One more. One more. Uh, which is more important, fiqh or aqidah? Ooh, good question. What is more important, fiqh or aqidah? And I'm impressed that you know what that is. Um, aqidah is the most important. Why? Because that's your belief. What If you make a mistake in fiqh, and even if you follow a wrong opinion in fiqh, it doesn't mean that you're not going to go to Jannah. Right? But if your aqidah is corrupted, and depending on how corrupted is it, then it could bar you from Jannah, right? So Aqidah is the most important thing in Islam. After Aqidah, then Fiqh and Hadith and Qur'at and all of those uloom are wonderful. Not that Fiqh is not important. Every Muslim, it's obligatory on every Muslim to know enough Fiqh to be able to carry out their daily worship, right? Uh, what's stopping you from being a Muslim today? Well, I'm... Uh, I answered your three questions. Yes. You've studied Islam for 20 years. You know what aqidah means. Like that's amazing, right? Uh, Many Muslims don't know what aqidah means, right? You know what fiqh means, right? You believe in one God? Yes. You believe that God sent us prophets? 
for Rasul's. Rasul? Ooh. <laughs> you are Muslim. I can't leave it. Let you go without a shout No, there are the five greatest of them, but Rasul are many. Anybody who got Risala is be a Rasul. And Ambiya, all of them being Ambiya. But we'll get into all of that later. We've got to do your Shahada first. You, you know too much. How would you stand in front of Allah knowing all this and not being a Muslim? Oh, so I, had these, I had these questions that were just lingering in my mind. All three are answered. Any other question you come up with, I promise you, I will sit with you. Yeah, You're in San Diego. I won't recite the Sahaba unless I'm in the masjid. What? I won't recite the Sahaba unless I'm in the... Recite the Sahaba or Shahada? Take the Shahada. Shahada. Okay. You want to do it in the masjid? No, Tonight. Masjid Ribad. I'll be waiting for you. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That the Prophet Muhammad, that the Prophet Muhammad is his servant, is his servant and messenger. And messenger. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. All right. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah ilaha. Allah ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammada. Muhammada. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Muslim.